Hello Libra, welcome back if you're a returning uh, subscriber. Um, if you're new to the channel, um, thank you for coming. Please don't forget to like and share or like and subscribe. I hope you enjoy the reading. Um, it is a general reading. Okay, so for you Libra, um, the first house of interest is the 10th house. Um, this is um, everything outside of your home life, your, you know, the world outside home. Um, so mostly it's it's usually about um, your career, um, your ambitions, whatever they may be, not necessarily related to career, but uh, anything to do with that, your fame, uh, your reputation, um, also your public status or, you know, your um, uh, what, what it is that you are seen as by other people. Um, and it can also be um, authority figures either in your life or authority figures that you are um, sort of modeling yourself on or that you admire or that are somehow front and center in your life. So it can also be authoritative um, institutions. So this can be the military or the police or the government, um, whatever is an authority uh, institution in your life, whatever holds that, um, you know, that kind of power. But it could also be a parent, you know, or somebody else in your life who has that um, authoritative uh, figure in, in your life. So all of these aspects coming up. Um, the associated um, astrological guidance is water element sensing and the goddess guidance is Damara guiding children. So it seems that um, for you in some way, shape or form, um, this is this. Um, Emphasis is going to be on you in some way um, using your influence uh, and your wisdom and perhaps directing your career at or uh, whatever, it, whatever it is. It could be your own children or somebody else's children that you are associated with. It could be, a, you know, relatives of yours or it could be part of your profession to be dealing with children. This is not necessarily little children. This can be young people as well. So, um, however it applies for you, whether it's personal or uh, related to something that you're busy with, it could be a social reform that you like to get involved in or you would like to get involved in. Or um, it could be um, perhaps something to do with your career where you are redirecting um, some of your investment focus into um, causes which support children or young people. So all of these um, aspects may come in uh, to do with Damara. Um, but the astrological guidance underneath is, is water element. Um, so what this is, this is all about the feelings, the, the realm of feelings, um, your intuition uh, and your instincts. So even though your logic mind may be telling you to do this, um, always go by your intuition and your feelings. What is your gut feel at the moment? That is going to guide you through these very changing you know, and transformative times that we're currently living in. So follow that. Um, it could also be that you are feeling a little bit um, maybe overwhelmed or just tired. Um, so your energy may be low at this time. And it, it, it has an element of withdrawal about it. So it may be time to just pull back um, and <clears throat> spend some time just gathering your energies and gathering your resources. It's like a pause period where you where you formulate um, because action will come, it's coming for you later on, but right now, this is going to be your best course of action to actually formulate and to, and to just gather your resources and your energy, you know, because you may just be feeling quite tired or overwhelmed at this time. So there's a form of withdrawal in there. Um, uh, it can also be that you are um, needing to reaffirm your boundaries in some way. Um, so don't allow yourself to be taken advantage of. Um, because you're quiet or because you're feeling the need to re retreat, or you may just be feeling very emotive and compassionate at the moment. Don't allow yourself to be taken advantage of. Set your boundaries um, and direct your energy only where it needs to go and what is going to be what you feel to be the right thing to do. Um, so, and don't let people get away with things as well. Just because you're feeling quiet or you're not, you're not necessarily, so pick your battles. Um, if you do have to go into battle, pick your battles, but conserve your energy at all costs right at the moment. Um, it could also be that you need to get in touch with your artistic or your creative side. So any activities around that are going to be very important. And this is where children comes in as well, because they naturally are connected to that. So you may be needing to connect to that side of yourself in order to help them, or they may be activating that in you. So it's really about 
act, you know, sort of getting in touch with your artistic abilities or your creative abilities. The two don't always go together. You can be creative and not necessarily artistic. So whatever it is, writing, drawing, painting, handcrafts, um, and it doesn't, you know, don't look at it with a critical eye and think, oh, well, this isn't good enough for anything. It's not about that. Um, somebody out there will like what you do uh, or somebody will appreciate what you do um, because it's your own particular, um, your own particular view on things. So it, that's not important. It's the doing of it that is important. It's a time of dreaming and resting and formulating what it is you want to do. Um, you could, as I said, be feeling very, um, sort of tuned in to other people's emotions right now. If there is drama going on around you, just let it blow over. You just continue with conserving your energy and going within um, to really, um, as I said, formulate what, what it is you're going to do later on. Um, it could also be that this energy is making you a little bit avoidant or escapist, where you just want to run away from certain things. That can come up. Um, just just being unable to really tackle anything because you just don't feel in a place to to deal with it. And that is a sure sign that you are overwhelmed. So withdraw and do the things which are, are life-enhancing for you and then redirect your energies where they need to go. Um, so Damara guiding children is your goddess guidance uh, for this house. You are good at helping, counseling and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. So as I said, this is um, could be very much a career focus for you, or it could be that you are using your influence in the world to to um, to assist young people or children in some way. It could be your own children or your brother's children or your sister's children or some other children that you are around currently. Um, you could be a teacher, um, or it could be that um, you want to focus on an uh, association or a a charity or some kind of um, endeavor which um, is, is helping children at this time, whether it's through sports, coaching, whatever it is that you like to get involved in, whatever is aligned for you, because this is this is the time of alignment. All of us really should be aligning with what is right for us. And um, if this is a career focus for you, it could be an investment focus uh, from a company point of view, um, or it could be that you are an authoritative figure in some young person's life right now um, so just think about it from that point of view but you know you have an ability there and um, it could just be a kind word or a, a bit of guidance or just some kind of um, some kind of support uh, for young people or children who perhaps are um, changing things or going through changes or wanting to um, do certain things in their life or you just need to stimulate them in some way but it's it's very much um, you know you being an authoritative figure in their life, um, or you are um, engaging in those activities possibly at this time um, with your own children or somebody else's. The other house of influence is the sixth house. This is the house of uh, routine. <clears throat> sixth house is actually um, the house of your own um, work, workplace, work colleagues. Um, uh, and it could even be, um, if you're not involved in a workplace, if you work independently um, with whatever it may be, it can be an artistic um, endeavor or any kind of work project that you're involved in comes under this house. Also, it's mastery of your craft, whatever it is that you do. Um, it's mastery around that. It's also the house of health and diet and well-being, which is a focus for you uh, this month. So... All of those aspects come in. It's also the house of pets. So I feel there's a very strong focus on the um, health and diet and well-being uh, because it keeps coming up again and again. Um, but it could also be a work focus for you or, uh, you know, whatever it is that you do, your craft. Um, maybe the two are interlinked. So um, all of that is coming up for you. Um, the astrological guidance is Chiron healing and the uh, goddess guidance is uh, sacred space. So what it's saying to you at this time, in whichever area of the sixth house is important for you, um, Chiron is the wounded healer. So this is um, uh, like a wounding or some kind of illness um, or some kind of difficult period in your life which you have been through and now you can assist others with that. And maybe that's where the children is coming in. So perhaps it's something that you've been through in your life 
and um, you're, you're automatically going to be equipped in some way or qualified even to help um, these young people or help others to overcome similar circumstances. So this is how the world's working now. Whatever it is, you'll find that in your life, all the knowledge, wisdom and experience that you've had in your life, however painful you may view it at this time, um, it has a purpose. It all has a purpose in your life. And um, you may just be able to assist somebody else who's going through something similar. And that um, knowledge that you have is going to be invaluable. So all of us are in this position now where we're finding we're moving into areas which we are naturally equipped uh, and in some cases qualified to deal with. We just know what to do. So think about that. Um, but Karen is also about repetitive issues coming up in your life. So this can be something that has happened before, maybe even once, or it could be something that has happened repeatedly in different circumstances, different people, but nonetheless, the feelings and the agonies or the irritations or the um, problems around that are the same. At their core, they are the same. I mean, that is because the original issue was never resolved or never dealt with. So it's something that you forced down or you just couldn't deal with at the time and it keeps popping up. So <clears throat> this can be, it can also be a physical wounding. Um, and if that is the case, if, if it's an old wound or an injury or something like that and it's flaring up again, um, then what you need to do is to look around the emotional issues and what was going on in your life at the time of that original injury. Have a look. Go back in your mind. You must be very honest with yourself. Look at everything very carefully. If it is a repetitive wounding or issue, so this is normally emotional or, or mental, you know, they kind of all go together. So this could be some experience that you had or uh, something that happened in the past and um, it's coming up again in different ways. It could be retrenchment. It could be um, having to move. It could be um, some kind of um, person, uh, the same kind of person keeps coming into your life and creating uh, what you're perceiving to be a repetitive problem. You know, uh, oh, no, this is happening again. You know, it's that kind of feeling, but it's that feeling of, oh, you recognize it straight away. When that starts happening, then Chiron is at play. So what it's saying to you is whatever went down with the original wounding or the issue, and by now, if it's happened repeatedly, you've got to know this thing very well, whatever it is. Um, and um, you've got to understand it quite a lot better now. So what, what, what you need to do is examine all the emotions and issues that were occurring at the time uh, of its, orig of its original um, situation and everything that's happened since then. And um, to bring that into the light. So you can't bury it anymore. You can't just force it underground and hope it won't ever come up again. It will. It will keep coming up. So, um, so bring it into the light. Look at it openly and honestly and acknowledge what was the purpose of that event or that experience in your life. It is always purposeful. The universe always has pu purposeful situations, however painful they may have been, will keep coming up. So... You need to look at it very, very carefully. You need to bring it into the light. Forgive yourself. Um, forgive the circumstances. And deal with the emotional chaining that you have to the people that were involved at that time. So release yourself from the chains. Um, and just, you know, research what it is about, what, what about forgiveness is all about. It's not forgiving the act if somebody did you wrong. It's releasing yourself from the emotional attachment to that event. Once you do that, then you can move on. But you've got to bring it into the light. You have to um, come to terms with the whole thing and acknowledge that it has a place in your life. It's made you who you are. And then once you do that, then you can um, get a lot of healing around that and you can release the event uh, or release the wounding or the experience or whatever it may be. Um, this card is also about nature, getting into nature. Um, you may really need to do that at this time, get in touch with animals, um, it could be, you know, as I say, your pets, spend time with your pets or get into nature in some way or assist, you know, perhaps volunteer with certain animal um, situations, whether it's a, a um, you know, rescue center, something like that may be very beneficial for you at this time. It's also learning and understanding all kinds of 
um, natural remedies and uh, practices, uh, therapies, and so on. Or any one of those may assist you at this time also with your own particular woundings, whether it's a physical wounding or an emotional and mental wounding. Um, so explore, try different things. It could be naturopathy, it could be chiropractic, it could be homeopathy, whatever's appropriate for you. Explore, have an open mind, try different things. Not everything works for everybody. There will be certain things which will work for you. Um, it's also understanding medicine and its place in your life. Perhaps things are, that you're taking currently are not suiting you right now. So you need to change things up. Um, so understanding also natural remedies um, just for yourself. Uh, but it can also be that you, you can learn about these things and understand them and your knowledge may help somebody else. You could perhaps start a business in it or learn, actually physically learn, uh, study this, uh, whatever it is that you've discovered that has worked for you. Um, it's understanding all those deep levels of healing um, and transmitting it to others if it's appropriate for you as well. Um, there may come a time where you actually have to visit a health institution unexpectedly. That can come up with this card as well. Um, but whatever it is, it's necessary to go there and to understand what it is that's coming up for you. This could be um, an autoimmune issue or something like fibromyalgia or some other sort of deep-seated issue which is not necessarily life-threatening but nonetheless needs to be dealt with. And this is where your health and diet comes in. So you may need to really change things up quite dramatically uh, in your life. And this is all of us are going through this. This is, this is the time to do it now, to really look at your life with a magnifying glass, the way you live your life, your well-being, your health. Look at it all and make changes at this time. Things that are going to enhance your healing and well-being because you're not going to be able to move forward until this has been addressed. Um, and the um, goddess um, guidance is Nematona, sacred space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. So literally, um, this is, um, if you have some, you know, in your way, wherever it is that you live, if you've got a, um, a sacred place, whether it's a church or an historic site or an historic building or a place of just power, uh, a natural place of power, um, which just has always been good for you, whether it's a walk in the forest or by the seaside, um, get out and, and spend time there. Um, even if it's in your own garden, create a space where you can just sit and be um, and connect, you know, do your meditations. Do You can just sit. Um, you can be doing some handcraft, something repetitive and meditative. It can be knitting. It can be handcraft. It can be painting. Whatever is right for you. You can be sitting doing crosswords if, if that's you know, what appeals to you. But just have a place in peace uh, where you can connect with your higher self. Um, you can also have some kind of place in your home. It doesn't have to be an altar, but it can be a room or an area where you place things that are powerful for you, whether it's photographs of your family or perhaps um, items that you have gathered on your travels around the world, whatever it may be, things that are important and have power for you, place them there. And that is where you go to sit and relax and just remember and enjoy um, connecting to your higher self and so on. So it's about that. It's about connecting to your divine self. And this is also what the water element uh, card is about. It's about going in and connecting to that deeper part of yourself for answers and for truth and for wisdom. The third area of interest is the ninth house. Ninth house is a very broad house. Lots of elements that we've already discussed come up in this. Ninth house is um, is a, an exploratory house. It's the house of exploration, but it's also the house of adventure, whether that's internally, mentally, or physically traveling. It's normally long distance travel, this. Um, so it could also be just adventures in your mind. So this can be um, researching for a trip that you may take one day, or just learning about faraway places foreign places or foreign cultures or interacting with others online or joining groups which are connected to a, a place uh, which is far away from yourself. Perhaps it's a, a part of the world which you'd like to visit one day and you're now linked to um, posts about that place, whether it's photographs or whatever. Think about it from that point of view, but it can also be about higher learning. So this is university level education or adult education, which goes very well with the Chiron card if you're wanting to learn something. Um, and so it's all about that studying. Um, it's also um, the uh, card of um, 
greater forms of communication. So this is publishing, um, teaching, uh, which may come up with, with the children um, or, or young people. Um, it's also the house of um, public relations and, um, pu you know, promotions of all kinds. It's also the house of law. Uh, and the higher courts. So you may be learning that or you may be involved in a legal issue right now. All these can come up with the ninth house. Um, it's also the house of your intuition and um, deeper truth, seeking truth and meaning and wisdom in all things. It's the house of faith. So everything to do with philosophy, religion and your belief systems. Um, so it's the search for meaning and purpose um, and everything that goes with that, uh, the deeper mysteries of life come in because that this, this covers religion and uh, b belief systems as well. So all of that. It could also just be having greater faith in yourself and in others or in whatever it is that's coming up for you in the ninth house. So the um, guidance that comes with it, the astrological guidance is Yod Destiny and Lakshmi uh, Bright Future. So with the um, Yod Destiny card, um, this is a specific purpose which is coming in for you. It's pointing to this very specific area in your life, something that you need to do in this house. But the Yod card is not easy, all right? It is a destiny card, so whatever is coming up for you is destined for you. It's got your name on it, but the path will not be easy there. Um, um, you're going to go through a bit of travail uh, in order to reach the other side, but there's no need to rush or force things to happen because it's destiny and fate is involved. Um, this is a, almost like a pioneering card. Um, you will feel alone in some ways. You may just feel like the black sheep of the family, or you may just feel out of step with others. You may feel different from others because of your views or what it is you're trying to do. Um, so you will feel kind of alone, but <clears throat> that's purposeful because it's important that you do that. You're not going to have the support and the guidance which you may have sought or may have received in the past. Um, and that is because what it is that you're working on or what it is you're trying to do, only you can do. Okay. Nobody else can, t can ride that journey with you. You have to do it because it's your job. It's your purpose that's coming in. And it's very specific, uh, what it's pointing at there for you. Um, it's uh, quite hard, the angles. Um, but it, again, it's purposeful. It's like, it's like mining for diamonds, right? Um, you've got to go through the rock to get to the stone. So you're polishing your diamonds. That's what you're doing. You've got to go through all that to get to the stone. Um, so <clears throat> it's a lot of work. Um, and you will have to, you will not have a clear path necessarily exactly how to get there, but you must follow your own inner guidance. Your inner GPS will be very strong, but you have to access it. And this is where the contemplation comes in, the deeper meditations, um, spending time in sacred places and so on to uplift your energy so that you can connect with your inner path and then you will know exactly what to do. But the path there will not be clear. It will be, you know, um, overgrown in some places and you will have to find your way. As I said, pioneering is very strong with this card. All right. So, but it's a special purpose um, that you have and um, the destiny is there um, and you will reach the success and you will reach uh, what it is that is right for you. Um, but you're just going to have to persevere uh, through the difficulty um, to get there. But it's, it will build you up, make no mistake. And the experience and the knowledge that you will gain on this path will be invaluable for you going forward. <clears throat>